My name is Bobby Hahn. I've been uh, running cranes for about 22 years. Right now, we're building the Laurel. My responsibilities as a crane operator are obviously to uh, make sure everything's in safe work and order before you start work for the day. You can do uh, crane inspections daily, check the cables, make sure all the uh, limits are working on the crane, and uh, just safe operation of the crane. You know, the most efficient way we can get the job done. Most important thing, safety. This section out here is the jib. The trolley travels forward and backward on the jib. This is called your counter deck. That's where your counterweights are behind me to the rear and your hoist drum. The capacity is uh, right around 28,000 pounds in this configuration, which is a two-part configuration. You can put the crane in four part, which would, would, would increase it. This is the uh, 23rd floor we're building. The core is usually uh, a floor or two above the 23. And um, usually our busiest days are the days that we're flying all the tables. That's the bottom forms for the floor. And then the next day is the rebar for the floors. And then you have the tower section here that we climbed up. And that increases the height of the crane. This is obviously the cab where the operator operates the crane. So the top line on here is 79.4 feet. That's from the center of the tower crane out to the trolley. As that increases, your, your capacity of the crane decreases. This is your anemometer. It's 14, 15 miles per hour right now. The top of the jib here down to the ground right now is uh, 377 feet, and that's with the 30 feet of spreader. So it's about we're about 400 feet right now. 